Too much things and too many things have, uh, have, have transpired over the years and too many things you just let go and now they have grown, huh? Now you need to let that stuff go so you can grow, glow, and listen and allow God to manifest his love over your life. Listen, let me, you got to be able to talk. You got to, you look, you got to, you got to stop the bleeding. You got to stop the forces of the enemy and you got to embrace what? A love release that won't cease to love. You got to embrace a love release that won't cease to love. I don't care what it was about. I don't care who said it. And I don't care if the people don't like it. But guess what? If you find yourself loving, guess what? That's enough. Out of thy loving kindness have I drawn them. You step into the word of God. You step into the things that uh, Yeshua the Messiah said. The things that Jesus said. The things that Jesus said. You understand what I'm saying? You step in that. You step in that. And Malachi chapter 1 verse 2. I love you says Adonai. But you ask how do you show us your love? Adonai answers. He says. Yet yeah, I love you. Yeah. God will always show his love. No matter what you do. No matter how you know. Uh, Cain killed Abel. But yet I still love man. I, I love you. Listen let me tell you. You can't do anything. You can't do anything to disrupt the love of God. God's love is endless. It's endless. It's endless. And I'm telling you right now, there are many of you out there that have been playing with his love, huh? You're dipping and dabbing. You're going in and out, huh? You're here today and you're going tomorrow. But this love and this period and this time is released. And it won't cease. He won't cease to love. You're looking. There are many people that under the sound of my voice. I hear the Holy Spirit saying it. You're looking for love in all the wrong places. huh? Listen, you need an endless love. You're not ready. See, as I was talking earlier, you're not ready for that. You're not ready for that perfected love, mature love. You need an endless love. You need that personal love with Yeshua, the Messiah, the Holy One. You need a love walk with Jesus. You need a love communication with Jesus. You need to go to somebody and have have a heart to heart. You need to break that thing that has been controlling your space. No, 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 no. Because guess what? You can't be effective in the things of God if you don't love. If but if you don't love what? If you don't love your brothers and sisters, you can't you can't be effective in the things of God. No, you got to have a perfected love. It out of thy loving kindness have I drawn them. It was his love that lifted me. When nothing else could help, God's love lifted me. We're almost done we're almost done and i tell you i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited we're almost done here but you got to understand that you got to get the love what love do you got to have you got to have the love of god you got to receive the love of god in songs of solomon chapter eight chapter eight starting at verse six set me like a seal on your heart like a seal on your arm for your love is as strong as death Passion as cool as shoal. Its flashes are flashes of fire, and they fierce as the flame of Yah. No amount of water can quench love. Torrents cannot drown it. If someone gave all the wealth in the house for love, he would gain only utter contempt. And see, there's a space. What the Lord is saying, there's a space and there's a time. You can't, you can't afford, you can't afford, you can't pay for the love of God. The, 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 the only thing that you can do is say yes. The, the, there's nothing, there's nothing that can stop the love of God. When God's love is for you, it will reach you. When God's love is over a family, when God's love is over a particular business, or an opportunity, I'll say. It can't be put out. You can't put it out with water. You can't put it out with fire. You can't put it out with lies. You can't put it out with uh, with jealousy and strife and pride. You can't put it out. See, people like to speak on your life, huh? but they can't control your life. Why? Because your life is surrounded around the love of God. It's like a whirlwind, oh Shabbat. It becomes like a shield, oh Shabbat. And so nothing can put it out. You can't stop God from loving me. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what you know about me. I know one thing for sure. You can't stop God from loving me. See, he's not persuaded. You know, it's like when we were kids, you got your friends and you want to... 
and you know, look, I, look, everybody stop talking to this person, or everybody stop talking to her, and that kind of guy, you know, that stuff. No, but see, you can't separate, you can't separate me from God's love. You can't say enough to God that calls him to stop loving me. You can't, listen, you can't put a finger on me that God won't protect me, because his love is an everlasting love, and there's nothing that can put it out. I'm talking about a love release that won't cease. Is there anybody out there that wants to experience today a love release that won't cease? I'm talking about a love release that don't cease. See, you know, because what happens is when you get that love release that won't cease, there, there look, there, 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 even you, the barren woman out there, there, there are children that you raise. Listen, that love release that don't cease, it's not just your family, but then God brings family to you that adds to the family. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about a perfected, pure love release that won't see. Look, look what let's let's go to Ruth real quick. And I'm almost done. I'm really almost done. Ruth chapter. F I'm gonna Ruth chapter four. Chapter four. I'm gonna go verse 15. This for time. Listen. May he restore your life and provide for your old age, for your daughters in law who loves you and is better to you than the seven sons. Has given birth to him. Naomi took the child, laid it on her breast, and became its nurse. The woman who were her neighbors gave it a name, and they said a son has been born to Naomi and called him Ovid. He was the father of Yeshua and the father of David. Now, what I'm saying to you, there are many of you out there, and even to myself, that there are children, there are young people that look up to you as fathers, and young people that look up to you as mothers, and you nurse them, and you nourish them, and you nourish them with the love, and then you, they, re they return to you love that you wouldn't even get from your children. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, I, I, it's just like this year. I'll never forget this year. I had, the, I had a young lady give me two, two t-shirts. Oh, barely, barely knows me. But she wanted to give this to me for Father's Day. And I'm talking about a pure love. See, love, love moves. Love, when you love, love loves love, huh? And so what comes from the heart reaches the heart. And people receive the things of God through the heart. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm talking about a love release that won't cease to love. Now, I'm not talking about those that are takers and makers, you know, and fakers. No, 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 no. See, now, you, you, you faking and you taking. Listen, we're not talking about that. But we're talking about people that love, love. They love. They love with the love of God. They love with the things of God. In my close, we're going to close with this love. And I want to define this love to you, my brothers and sisters, today. In the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13. Uh, and we're going to go with this and we're going to close. I, but I want you to receive one thing. I want you to receive today that there is a love release that won't cease to love. Uh, I may speak in the tongues of men, even angels. But if I lack love, I have become merely a blaring brass and a cymbal clangling. Listen, you've got to have the love of God. Is there anybody that wants the love of God? I may have the gift of prophecy. I may phantom all the mysteries and know all things and have all faith enough to move mountains. But if I lack love, I'm nothing. You got to have the love. I may give away everything that I own. I may even hand over my body to be burned. But if I lack love, I gain nothing. You got to have the love. Get it right. I may give away everything that I own. And I may even hand over my body to be burned. But I have, but if I lack love, I gain nothing. You got to the first thing. If I, if, I, if, if I give over my life and I don't have love, I gain nothing. Listen, it was a senseless death, huh? I gave away that stuff. It didn't. It gave me no value because love is the key that triggers everything. It's out of thy loving kind. Everything is wrapped around love. Listen, we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for the love of God. Verse 4, love is patient and kind, not jealous, not boastful, not proud, rude, or selfish, not easy, angered, 
and it keeps no record of wrongs, huh? You know how you got them people to say they love you and always reminding you of your past. Listen, they talk 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years back. Listen, they can remember everything except for themselves. See, a real love will cause you to look in the mirror, and when you look in the mirror and see yourself, you'll be thinking about the love of God, and guess what? And thank God for his grace and his mercy, huh? Listen, and when you look in that mirror, you, I guarantee you, you know you ain't going to see. Look, you ain't, you, you're you not like, uh, you, you, you're not going to be uh, 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 like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and looking in there and another person in there. If you see somebody else in that mirror, when you stand in that mirror, you by yourself, you know you're going to run. I mean, some of y'all going to run and scream and holler. That's right. They, they, they too many of y'all. Now, some of y'all may say you're going to stay there, but I'm trying to tell you right now, you need to look at yourself. And you need to look at how much God loves you, huh? Just the fact that you can look and see yourself, you need to know that God loves you. And I'm causing you to be, I just want you to be encouraged today. Love does not gloat over other people's sins. What takes is the light in the truth. See, you learn to look through the eyes of God and not see people as they are, but see people as they become. And you know, it's a funny thing. When I was when I was out getting some uh, getting some different things yesterday, and the Lord said to me, He said, "Son, always remember, always remember." I became, uh, you know, Paul said, "Well, I became all things to all people, so that I might win them." Listen, you better have some love, huh? Listen, you better have some love. You better love everybody, huh? Listen, and you can't love everybody being all stuck up and stiff, huh? Listen, you gotta act like people act, huh? I remember watching a movie with Gandhi. I'll never forget. I thought it was so interesting because Gandhi was a lawyer, and you know, for a period of time, he dressed like the British, like what we would call the Queen. But when he went back, huh? Because he knew. He found out that he didn't fit in there, huh? You know, so he went back to his people where he could do help. And he began to dress like them because, look, you got to dress and act like people in order to be able for people to be comfortable around you. You can't come in there with your suit and tie and your stuffy stuff and think somebody's going to see you. Look, let me tell you something. Look, sit on the floor and eat that chicken. You understand what I'm saying? I remember going to these people's house and it was a big thing for them to invite me to their house. I'll never forget it. Church people. And you know, one thing that happened after another, and the one thing that happened was this right here. We were we were sitting down, and when we were sitting down, uh, uh, I had a piece of chicken, and something came over, uh, uh, a bug came up, crawled over my plate, and I spiked it off the plate, and I stepped on it, bam, and kept on eating the chicken. Now everybody at the table was uh, everybody at the table was shocked. Then they probably thought they were embarrassed. I said, let me tell you something. Don't y'all be acting like this and, and kill this and kill this thing here. This chicken is good. Let me tell you something. It was not the first time I seen a bug. What they needed me screaming bug and all that kind of stuff. No, I couldn't do that. No. Because what? I'm in the favor and the things of God. And and, and that's that's where we are right now. So we thank God for that. Uh, love never ends, but prophecies will pass. Tongues will cease. Knowledge will pass, for our knowledge is partial, and our prophecy is partial. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, thought like a child, argued like a child. Now that I have become a man, I have finished with childish ways. For now we see obscurely in a mirror, but then I will be face to face. No... Now I know partly that I will know fully, just as God has fully known me. But for now, three things last, trust, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Thank God for his love. I don't care where you are today and what you're going through. I don't care who you're talking to. I tell you right now. Nobody can change God's love over you. Nobody can change God's love over you. Nobody can change God's love over you. You must receive the love of God at all times. And you must know the love of God. I'm going to pray with you. And then we're going to go. We're going to go. But I want you to receive. I want you out there to receive the love of God. Know that God loves you. God is for you. God is for you. God is for you. And, 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 and that's what it is. That's what it is. You want the love of God. And it's released over the airway today. 
And Father, we thank you for your word. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love. I pray that the perfected love release that won't cease will reach the people right where they are. I send them all into thy presence. I speak them into thy presence. I lift them into thy presence. 